Hey guys, I'm Silent Core and welcome to a GTA video. I'm going to be going through some of the screenshots that were released about a week ago. Uh, these were released after the official uh, trailer, so we got some cool new screenshots to see. And uh, we can see a few new features of the game. And after, we're going to take a, a look at the three trailers for each character and do a bit of character analysis and see what we can pick out about each person. So I'm really interested to know just how many of my subscribers are interested in this game, so let me know in the comments, do like, make yourselves known if you are planning on picking up this game maybe on the release or sometime after the release. Maybe you're going to wait and see what uh, what everybody else is doing, what your friends are playing. So it'll be really cool to see what pet options are going to be available and what exactly they can do and how they can help you on missions and stuff like that. So if you guys didn't know already, I've been a huge fan of the Grand Theft Auto series, I've played them ever since Vice City, and I've always been the type of guy that will just play it and totally immerse himself in it until it's completed. Like, I'll usually always try and go for 100% complete, just because I'm a nerd like that. And I'll usually always just huff that once I've completed the game, I'll go for like all the collectibles. In the last game, I spent forever getting all those 100 pigeons. But this could potentially become one of the biggest selling games ever in the UK. And it's going to be released on the 17th of September, which is kind of a unique date to sell a game because it's right before, it's right at the end of uh, the lifespan of these current consoles and you know when the, the next gen consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4, you know people might not want to buy games around then because they will be saving up for these new consoles or um, it's, it's a bit of a strange one. But I do think that this could potentially go very well in Rockstar's favour, you know everybody already has these current gen consoles, it's a very safe option to bring it out on just those consoles and not bring it to the next gen consoles yet. So I think this game has the potential to be absolutely huge. I read in the Metro there's something like 3 million copies been reproduced for the UK, which is crazy. And let me just point out this screenshot here. I'm not sure what these helicopters are actually called, but these helicopters are the ones that have the back panel that opens up, and you can drive your car in there. So maybe while you're playing this game, you can actually bring cars in the back of your helicopter and fly around the map and just <laughs> transport stuff like that. So I could imagine that would be super fun on multiplayer, maybe you could just bring all your friends in the back and a car and jump out, uh, parachute in and get in your car and stuff, that'd be pretty fun. So there's a whole bunch of screenshots just showing uh, a few of the vehicles, you know, we get to see a few more cars, a few more boats, uh, the helicopters, and uh, also this one here which I thought was pretty interesting. It looks like this guy's um, just about to parachute off this bridge and he's obviously in the middle of a high speed pursuit. He's got all these police up there and he's just decided to jump off and parachute off, which is a pretty cool getaway. And also here we get to see the main three characters, so there's Michael, Trevor, and then Franklin. And I also want to point out in this picture the dog. That's right, we're going to be getting pets in Grand Theft Auto V. And I think this dog is actually going to have quite a big part in this game. Uh, you know, the, the dog is actually featured on the front of the game. Uh, if you guys all notice in the game cases, like a dog that's like head growling. That's this dog right here, behind Franklin right here. But I think the unique thing about this game is going to be the characters and learning how these three characters are going to develop, how they're going to interact, how you're going to meet them, and what they all they turn out to do together. Because from what it looks like, there are three very different characters. This first one's Michael, and uh, he looks like he's a bit of a family man. He, you know, he lives with his wife and his kids in a massive house. He's got loads of money, and um, at the moment it's kind of unknown how he got this money. It looks like he probably has a bit of a, a tainted past on how he got so rich. But it looks like he's having a bit of a midlife crisis. He's uh, he's rich and miserable, and uh, he said that's pretty average for this time, which is kind of funny. And as you can see from the clips here, he looks like he wants to live his life a little bit more on the edge. He wants to rob banks and do loads of exciting stuff, which is definitely cool to see. Next up we have Franklin, and he's coming straight out the hood. He looks like he's been at the centre of gang banging, and he's probably trying to get up and over that scene, but obviously you can't easily come out of that scene. You've got a lot of contacts, you've got a lot of people that know who you are, and uh, it looks like he's going to have a pretty tough time coming out of there. And we get to see him in a strip club here as well, so strip clubs are coming back to GTA 5, which I guess is good to see. So at least if porn does get censored in the UK, we always have GTA. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And then last, and probably least, there's Trevor. He's the kind of hillbilly type with no respect for anybody, not even himself, and uh, he does look like a bit of a dirty guy. But uh, yeah, you can just see the these three characters could be more dif different, and uh, it's going to be awesome to see how they, c how they actually meet in the first place, and how they decide to work together on missions. And uh, as you guys, if you've watched the actual gameplay trailer, you can switch between all three of these characters while you're playing a mission. So it's not like previous GTAs, you know, previous GTAs, you can decide what who you want to see and what mission you want to do for them and you can kind of mix and, ma mix and match with them but these three guys are going to be working with them all together at once on each mission. 
So I'm definitely looking forward to it. I want to bring you guys something different and not just RuneScape all the time. So um, if you did enjoy this, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you're going to get it. And uh, a simple click of that like button would be really appreciated if you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.